What's going on guys? So we are still out here at Living Vehicle. If you haven't seen some of the videos we've done on these things, you absolutely need to go and check them out. These are the most unique, most unique RV I have ever filmed so far. That's all I gotta say. You gotta come and check them out. I got Matt. Matt is one of the owners out here. And when I say one of the owners, it's you and your wife. It was me and my wife, yep. We founded the company about five years ago and you know we've been doing mobile, mobile renovations on Airstreams, buses, vans, you name it, for the last two decades. You know, and, and I bring this up because just sitting and talking to you and your wife, the passion that bleeds out of them about this product is absolutely crazy. I, I just, you, you go to dealerships, you go to, uh, you know, the, the manufacturer shows and you have sales reps that come out and talk to you and they brag about the things here and there, but they rarely know the nuts and bolts. They yeah. rarely know <laughs> we, what really makes their product tick and why they did things a certain way. Yeah. And you guys know every conceivable thing about your RV. And you even taught me some things that I, I feel like I should know from an engineering standpoint, but I just didn't know. Uh, you were mentioning how it's welded that's different. Oh, it's a moment frame. So it's we're talking about, frame. yeah, the way, yeah, the moment frame on how the how the entire unit, you know, versus like uh, another product like, you know, y'all are familiar with like an Airstream. You know, by the way, I have way too much experience with Airstreams. You know, it's a, it's a semi-monocoque construction. Like an airplane's a full monocoque construction. Mm -hmm. It's like an egg. You know, it's just the way that the lateral structure is put together and the way it basically stays together. That's what you get when you talk to an architect too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jargon. architect, by the way. All right, so, but yeah, I'm gonna just show something real quick. All right, so check out these doors. That is insane. But that's not the point of this video. It's like every time I make a video out here, I have to stop and <laughs> yeah. look at some crazy cool construction perk of your trailers. So the point of today's video is to talk about trucks. Yep, we've already looked at RVs. We've talked about towing, what type of truck you need to tow these incredibly heavy, super well-built, full-time rated, you know, you buy this thing once and you just live with it for the rest of your life, living vehicle RV. We've talked about that, the cool solar panel awnings. And you see solar panels right here and you see some on the other side, but what you're not seeing is there's also solar panels running down the center right here. Very cool. But again, go back and check out those videos because those videos will go into much, much greater depth. Again, we're talking about trucks today. Hang tight, <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, Matt. JD. I'm a truck guy, and when I came out here, as beautiful as these RVs are, part of my attention was instantly pulled away and gravitated towards this Ram 4500 that you have. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to geek out and explain to my viewers everything you wanna talk about related to this truck. Yeah, what the heck we did here and yeah. why, why we built this truck. I mean, you know, this, this, this is kind of just fun. You know, we, we built a beautiful example of a truck that we would just kind of, if we were to make a recommendation and say, what's the most amazing truck and how you would do it to pair with a living vehicle, this was the LVT, living vehicle truck for the 2024 version. Now, mind you, this is a 22 in part because we were having supply chain issues when we were upfitting this truck. And this is the most, the latest model truck that we could get, but it's done in a way that is paired perfectly with the HD series. Now, HD, you've got two different models. You got the 24 and you got the 30. So 24. we got the 24 unit right here and we got the 30 unit here. This is the tri-axle HD. And this goes all the way up to 20,000 pounds GVWR. Now, Two trucks that I'd recommend for towing the HD is basically your, you know, your one ton. So you've got your 350s, 3500s, and then you've got your one and a half ton, your 4500s or 450s, your beautiful beasts of a truck here. Now, what you see here, you don't really need all this stuff. Um, this is a great exploration in what oh, it would- Wait, wait, wait. You just broke so many people's hearts by saying you don't need this. This was the reason why so <laughs> many men were approaching their wives and saying, he said, he said we he need said, this we, truck. He said we need it. Well, I mean, but come on, if you're gonna, yeah. if you're gonna invest in something like this, now here, here's, the, here's the value proposition. If you're gonna invest in something like this and you're gonna choose to optimize for quality and full-time livability and whatever adventures you wanna go and cut the cord, fierce independence, get off grid, stay off grid, because these things charge themselves from the sun, fully electric, you don't need to plug in ever, maybe you wanna invest in this and you want to invest in a proper tow vehicle to get you where you want to go. Because maybe you're using this as a base camp and you want to use this as your daily driver. You want to go a little bit further with this, or you want the safety and capabilities in all conditions that this offers. So it really is just a choice. But that being said, not necessary to have all these upgrades to accomplish this result. Now, there are a couple things on here that I would say are vital 
to enable a, a great experience with the living vehicle kind of unification, but everything else, you know, it might be aesthetic, but it all has a purpose, right? It looks amazing. It pairs perfectly together as a unit. Um, but I'll go into all the details of what makes a, an LVT. Okay, so let's start from the front and work our way to the back of this truck. Sure, so uh, let's see. First thing you'll notice about this truck is it has been converted from the dually to a super single. Um, it's got the co Continentals on here. This is the Kelderman kit. There's a couple ways to go here. This is the air. You could also go with the liquid spring. I mean, they're both great. I think that we were having supply chain issues with the liquid spring. You know, you could go either way, frankly. Um, I think the Kelderman is great. Um, it's it's simpler, right? And so mm -hmm. that's that's what I really like about this setup, this system. I was off-roading with this truck. It performs really well. Um, it also gives you really that adaptability and the speed that you can convert from kind of high load capacity when you're towing an LV. Um, also, you can you know if you're taking it off-road, you just with the push of a button, you're gonna you know have a nice quick adjustment to that. Um, I love the super single conversion, not only for the uh, performance but the look. Um, you know, it it has that off-road look to it, whereas you know your dually. I mean, if you're gonna to be towing a living vehicle, you'll get by just fine with a dually. Stock setup, it's gonna perform really well. Um, what I love about the 4500 though, when you compare this say to the 350 is the, it's it's so wide. You know, you yeah. really have that platform. It feels very planted. I mean, but you can take this, too. it turns the turning radius and then you, I mean, you can almost kind of rally this thing. It feels like it's, when you're when, when you're going through turns, it has that, that width that really feels planted and stable. So, you know, when you're off road, I mean, you gotta be aware of that because it's a wide truck. It's a big boy. Yeah, um, it but I mean, I've been, I've, I took this up in the Alabama Hills and the high Sierras and I, you know, we, we were in a foot of snow, foot and a half of snow, and we were just rallying through that. And it was just, it was amazing. It felt like, I mean, not, not exactly a 150, but it felt like, you know, 250 or definitely a three quarter, Yeah, you know. Very cool. Let's work our way back. Well, real quick, any engine modifications to this truck? Um, no, no. I mean, you've, you've got some computer stuff in there. Um, you know, I, it's it's kind of bare bones when it comes to engine mods. You know, you have a cold air intake. Uh, besides that, we really didn't do much. My one Texas versus California knock. I mean, it'll be my only one against California is you really can't do any modifications. You're absolutely your right. Here. And that's the thing, you know, it's, and that's, that's what we wanted to do with this vehicle is make it, you know, since we're in California, 50, 50 state legal. Um, and, you know, while, you know, you could definitely tune this thing and take, t take the Texas advantage and really push this thing to the limit, you know, there are, there are some limitations. I mean, one of the things we do I've had on here is a, um, a throttle, throttle tuner. Um, so you got rid of that diesel lag, yeah. you know, so that's one of the things that really bugs me with a diesel truck is that if you can put like the, what is it? I think we have the banks on here, mm -hmm. pedal monster, which is really nice. I mean, it just gives you that tune between the stock or the sport or the track. If you really want to go there, it just gets rid of that, that lag. And that, I mean, that's a big difference. I mean, yeah. from the feel of when you're actually taking this thing out, you know, and frankly, I mean, a lot of diesel trucks, they can feel a little dangerous when you're at a stoplight and then you, you push on that pedal and not much happens for a little bit because it's, mm -hmm. that's just how the engine's built. Um, and so, you know, you can just tune that with a, with a controller and you can get rid of that. And that's also, you know, California state legal. Yep. And keep in mind, guys, this is a 4,500 series. So this actually has a derated engine versus the normal high output Cummins that you would get in the pickup truck version. Exactly. So this was, this started life as a chassis cab. So this bed on the back wasn't there and it had just two frame rails going back. So keep that in mind. Ford is the only manufacturer that produces the 450 as a pickup truck, Correct. class three vehicle. And now in the new version, you can get it with the standard or the high output diesel. But what he's talking about from a pedal lag perspective, and some people with Ford may not realize this, or GM, and this isn't a knock against Ram, but the Cummins has always had a bit of a laggier feel to it versus Ford. Can you admit that oh, versus your truck? Absolutely, right? yeah. I mean, even the Ford experiences that. We have a pedal monster on there too. Um, same thing with the Ford. It's not as noticeable, but when you put that device on here, the, the change is ma material. It, it, you would think that you put a whole kit on the engine and mm -hmm. did all sorts of stuff under the hood where all you needed to do was put, you know, a couple hundred dollar part in there and a computer that's 50 state legal. And I, I've, I've blown people's minds on how much difference that can make. Yep. Yep. Very cool. All right, so working our way back, um, I don't think probably there's been any major chassis modification from the frame perspective. Nope, you've got it. It's just, you know, this was a, a stock, uh, you know, 
chassis cab so you just had an open chassis and we put on you know this beautiful bed setup now this is by Bowen custom you know it's a it's it's a great product um, it really does give that that bed we made it a little bit wider so for folks that want to utilize this in the LV setup you want to take a lot of storage with you because when you're optimizing for full-time living you got to take a lot of stuff and so it's it's as wide as the dually fenders would normally exactly. be, but right front to back yes so from here to here so when he says wider this whole section up here and this section in the back right here is what's wider. It comes out further, right? So you can see how, you know, this this is wide already. You know, this is this is out there from, yeah, a, you know, for that, that super single conversion. Um, and, you know, you can see this one inch lip here on the fenders. We brought all this out additional width to give you more storage capacity. And, you know, you've got all these guys, these storage compartments, which are just phenomenal. You can put so much stuff yep, in these that's things. That's my favorite one right I mean, here. this one, this boy, the garage, you know, that's that's where you store seven children. Don't put your kids in there, by the way, folks. I mean, this right here makes up for not having a bed. It does. It's, because, a, it's amazing. Yeah. Typically, a toolbox or a hauler bed on a truck, you lose the convenience of that large storage mm -hmm. space to carry stuff. Yep. But you could fit a 60-inch, 80-inch, 85-inch TV in a box oh, and we did. in here. We went to a show with this truck, and funny you said the TV. We slid a 65 inch TV inside here to transport to and from the show. Yep. So that, that's really cool. And this makes having something like this so much more practical and convenient. Now, mind you, truck looks really tall. I'm six foot four, but this is on a platform, by the way. His wife so, says he's six five. See, I'm like, I'm 6'4", but this, I don't want to make the truck look bigger or taller or more lifted than it is. Um, but so that's, that's, that's just a little note. Yeah, that is, it's a huge truck anyway, you slice yeah. it. Yeah, it is. So real quick, we got Kelderman continuing to the back here. Check this out. I always love when I see dirt on components. It means there you, you go. It's it. an actual truck. Yeah, this is a truck that we use. Check that out. That is absolutely insane. And what's really cool about this is because this is a super single on the back, not the dualies, you can actually see the whole brake component in here. Look at that. That is insane. <laughs> yeah. You got your air compressor tank right there. Yep. Well. Yeah, and it's great to have a tank on board. You know, you can utilize the tank system for, you know, you hook up a hook up an air hose. I mean, it's great to have that additional capacity there. Absolutely. You know, you've got the, fif the 55 gallon, I, I don't know what's a 55 gallon, but it's, a, you know, it's the expanded fuel tank. So you want to have, you know, that's that's right back here because, you know, these do take gas. You, you know, can really... opt these with dual tanks too. Mm -hmm. You absolutely can. Yep. yep. And somebody's going to try to correct you. He meant diesel. Diesel. Yep. Gas diesel. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> you know, and, and yep. Yep. I absolutely meant diesel. Yep. Yep. And then I got to look over the back here real quick. So you still got a whole pickup truck bed back here. You do. Yeah. You've got your compressor there. And frankly, I think that was installed in the wrong spot. You know, you've got a lot of spot to put a lot of spots to put that, that compressor set up down below. Do they make this compatible with the fifth wheel? Yeah. Cause I, I want this now. I don't know how about getting it put on my truck, but I want this. Yeah, yeah I mean, you've got options. It's a, it's a beautiful setup. That you know, is it's really cool. Yeah, and it's quality too. You know, and that's, that's the thing that we're optimizing for all along the way is quality first. Are you selling this truck? Uh, we are, actually. Hmm. This, we sell every one of our, our floor models. You got it. Can we talk price? What are you asking for it? Um, we have, I, I think it's about 190 into it. Okay. And that's, a, that's, that's our cost. Is that what you're asking for? Uh, we're, yeah, we're going to sell it. We always sell, we just sell them for what we put into it. We don't, we don't charge anymore. We don't mark it up. So whatever we put into it, whatever that number is, that's what we'll sell it for. I believe that because I believe the pricing you're talking about because what, what uh, chassis was this built off or trim package? Um, I believe this... Laramie or a limited? I think it was Laramie because if you go limited, the reason that we don't do limited... Um, yes, Laramie. The reason we don't do limited is because they require you to go with their dual factory alternator setup. And then with the Ram, we need a space to put a additional alternator because okay. the LV, we want to have that alternator to run high voltage or kind of high power DC mm -hmm. to charge the energy system in the living vehicle. And so this has that alternator installed, run the wiring back, and then you have that that cable connected to the tongue of the living vehicle. And that's what powers your energy system while you're driving. Yep. So these are military tires, by the way. Yes, absolutely. And these are continental, which means they're not cheap military tires. Ooh, yes. And the reason why I'm saying this is you say $190,000. How much are just the tires on that's, this setup? That's probably a, I don't know, 1200 1200 $1,500 tire. tire, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. So you're talking probably close to eight grand in tires alone. Yeah which is insane. Yeah, and you know, that, I mean, that might have changed. We bought the tires when, you know, everything was up yeah. here in crazy town. So, you know, don't quote me on that price. Um, but, you know, I mean, what we what we paid is what we paid. 
Well, this is a freaking awesome truck. Yeah, it's I really a, appreciate it's, you showing me it. It's a beauty. Um, you know, we got a couple things over here on this. You know, we can walk around the corner and yeah. I can show you some, some of the stuff here on the bumper that we installed. You'll see it more on the other vehicle that we have. So there's a couple ports there. You know, that's where we installed the, um, you know, that's the connector. We got this nice little plastic cover, yeah. um, living vehicle cover. That's where the high volt, you know, the high power connector is, um, where you push that through, you, yep, know, you so connect your LV to it. If you didn't watch the previous video, what he's referring to is they put a much larger alternator in, run all the larger cables back, and this provides true DC charging to your trailer whenever you're towing it. Yep. You know, we've also got a uh, camera connector here um, so that you have four point surround view cameras on the living vehicle. So real time, you know, cameras and, you know, hardwire is what we wanted. You know, I've done a lot of the Wi-Fi stuff and that stuff's good. It sometimes doesn't work. And, you know, nothing beats a hardwire connection yep, uh, for true. reliability. You know, and when you're optimizing for quality first, you know, hardwire is really the way to well, go. That's why all the OEMs, they yep, do hardwire. Exactly. Cameras. And now you can do that. You know, you can have the adaptability to to make that work with, you know, in, in dash, the in screen. And I really like, you know, with the RAM, I love the Uconnect setup. You know, that 12 inch screen, it works really well. Can I look inside? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Got the 12 inch Uconnect in there. Comes with a Coke already in the center <laughs> console. Oh, this is really nice. And I know a lot of people absolutely already love the interior that RAM has been putting out for some time. Beautiful, beautiful interior. Yeah, pretty much all loaded up and you got the upfitter switches. Yep. Vital whenever you're going to have a truck. Yeah, and you know we, we've got you know we've got the light bars in the front, the two light cubes on the side, and you know we got really nice amber cubes. It really, I love that look. Um, also, they turn on and off the um, the compressor uh, okay. for the air system. Um, I think there's a we got a water tank. I think that might be on the other one. We might not have put that on this one, but we've got a water tank that we put on too. It's like a 32 gallon water tank with an integrated pump and then a hose. So if you want to do a wash down mm -hmm. wherever you go, you know we. Go to, go to the beach, wash down your feet, or if you're, you know, need to wash your truck wherever you are. Yeah. So that's really nice well, this, to carry this with is you. Cool too. I just noticed this this cutout, of this front fender flare. Yep. Is designed so the door. Exactly. Opens yeah. Into a yeah. They're so contact. they're so wide and they they play. You know, you've got that. I mean, this is a big old fender flare. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, nice nice quality. I mean, you wrap on that. That's a thick gauge bumper. Yeah. Um, you know, on this one, I really like the integrated winch. You know, with this, it's just it's oh, really yeah. clean. Um, you know, and of course you got the uh, the LV logo there. That's the uh, the custom grill. So that's one of the another one of the things that we've done. And I like again how you said the winch. It actually sits inside of a groove, so it's not just hanging out. Yep, that's yep. Cool. And that's improved over. You know, I think the thirty, the three fifty. It's got an, it, another winch setup, but it's got kind of that that winch that hangs off here yeah. and then clips on to the side there. Well, Matt, this is one beautiful truck, and I do know a YouTube channel who's taking truck donations in case you ever just want to get rid of it. If it doesn't sell, you know, I'd hate for it to just sit here and collect dust, and, you know, we'll put it to use. Awesome. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll definitely have to consider that. Awesome. Well, Matt, I definitely appreciate it. We got more content we're going to shoot out here. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and let me know in the comment section what you think about this thing, because I got some truck envy going on, man. I thought my F450 was, was like it, and... Oh, one thing we didn't mention was the Kevlar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not Rhino lined, Kevlar Well, lined. yeah, not Rhino or Linex. I mean, those are both great products, but, you know, the Kevlar. It's, you know, who doesn't love Kevlar? And it's, you know, paint paint match, you know. Um, and it also can file your wife's fingernails. You file your wife's fingernails. Yeah, yeah it's Perfect. a, it's, it's a take, it, take it with you fingernail file. <laughs> yep, yep. Very cool. Well, again, I super appreciate the, the overview of this thing. Super cool. It is for sale, at least when we shot the video, but... Who knows, after I post this, somebody might actually come forward and want to buy it from you. I guess it is for sale, so yeah, I'll just, I'll make it official. Yeah, sure, it's it's for sale, so if someone wants it, you can you can take this one. I don't know if that one's for sale yet. Well, how are you going to get home? That, that's the thing. That's yeah. the thing. You'll yeah. have to live in one of your, uh, your living Yeah, we, we do sell everyone, but you know, I, yeah, we, we can sell You want to hold on to it for a while? Not officially for sale yet? <laughs> what do you think? You, you tell me. I, I think we can put it up for sale. This thing, this one's ready to go. I got to keep at least one one LV truck. But we're going to show the 350 next. That is true, guys. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll be back. I'll show you another truck.